Hey, in this video I just want to show you uh, Crypto Prevent in action. Um, I've already got my block successfully applied and have restarted. And I'm going to attempt to infect, infect this virtual machine with uh, the CryptoLocker virus that I have here on the desktop. Um, first off, I am going to show you running an executable inside a zipped archive doesn't work it's blocked by group policy because I did apply that protection so that's what happens that's normal now here's the crypto locker virus itself and just to be certain it's going to work well I'm going to run it as administrator and it is not disappearing from the desktop the reason for that is because it has not taken hold of the OS. Um, it has not been able to install itself in app data or local app data. And we'll just show all files here and we'll see that we're in app data now. We'll go to local and we have nothing. However, if I run crypto prevent again and undo the protection, We'll wait for group policy to refresh. And it's telling me a reboot is not required. So I'll rerun the test and now I get prevention is not applied or unsuccessful. And now if I run the malware, it disappears from the desktop as expected and you get the Trojan appearing in app data. And I just want to run through this test real quick on Windows XP. As you can see, I cannot run a zip, uh, executable inside a zip file. But I do have CryptoLocker here on the desktop, named a little bit differently. I named it CryptoLocker. And nothing is happening. Even though I've run it, I'll run it again. We'll just go to App Data. We need to view all files. And there's nothing here. Go to Local Settings, App Data. And there's nothing here. So I'll run Crypto Prevent again. Remove the protection and it's telling me a reboot is not required so if I run the test it's definitely not in effect anymore you can also double check because well that that restriction policy is still in effect so let's restart and make sure that the policy is good and gone let's check back in on our Windows 7 machine it hasn't had to pop up yet. Let me restart and see what happens. Okay, now that I've restarted into Windows, let me double check and make sure I can run an application inside a zip file. And I can. I get the Hello World prompt. So now let's run our CryptoLocker virus. It disappears from the desktop as expected this time. And if we go into our test user, local settings, app data, there we have the malware. As you can see, it's installed itself there. And I think that'll about do it for this video. Um, I would like to see the malware pop up before we go maybe a time lapse is in order but rest assured the malware is installed on the system after I remove the crypto locker prevention I can still see it there ah okay we do have it running in task manager using uh, 37 percent 20 whatever it's using some CPU so it is doing something I imagine it will pop up here eventually but uh, that's all really you need to see for this video um, 
If you have any questions, uh, Nick, uh, Foolish Tech at FoolishIT.com and www.FoolishIT.com. We'll save removal for another video. Um, we'll save that one for uh, Brightex videos, huh? All right.